The uh, city at the moment is in the center of the search for energy creation. I believe because most people live in the city these days, um, expect from the city uh, to give them energy, to give them comfort. And architects have to create the buildings through which energy is fed uh, to the people. I think the big challenge we are facing is the uh, mitigation of uh, climate change, probably the biggest uh, issue facing humanity uh, at the moment. Um, as, a, as planners and architects, we have a responsibility. Cities have to start becoming the main providers of energy. We cannot go on anymore consuming energy uh, like we are. It sounds like this is far away from places where people meet, uh, which is the uh, title of this, uh, of this Biennale. But actually, it's very close because when, when people meet, people meet. They want to be comfort. They want to create communities that use uh, the energy. So I think, as planners and architects, we actually have to show uh, both the students of architecture and the, uh, the decision makers how it's possible to to, to shift uh, cities and energy creation together. And how is it done, actually? How can we begin to rethink the creation of a city? As, as a source of uh, energy, not just saving, being more uh, efficient, but also as a source of energy uh, creation with everything we can do. I think there are four, four points there. One is first to look at the, uh, the pressure, what is facing us. For example, uh, in China you have now 1.4 billion people that, uh, that want to shift towards our kind of uh, comfort, and this is fair. Uh, but what is happening in, in, in the process? The Chinese government knows there are risks involved in this. So first is the, is the pressure that we are reaching uh, over the next years um, in terms of our mitigation of climate change. This next one is what can we actually do? What is the toolkit available to us as architects? And the cities have to be the sites for these toolkits. So what can we do with cities? We can create uh, incubators in which we, we test the toolkit because we don't actually know yet what really works and what, what doesn't. So we need incubators to, to, to implant the, the to, toolkit and to work with the toolkit. Toolkit is basically every type of technology uh, design principle possible that we have in our hands. The third one, the third issue is, is uh, this is what I call the spin, the narration. How do we tell the story to people? How we tell people this is really necessary, we've got to think about it. So actually the problem of climate change becomes a cultural problem. It is a cultural problem because we have to make people believe in maybe changing their way of, of, uh, of living. So spin, and on top of that, we as architects have to become a kind of curator who are ready to, curators who are ready to negotiate with what I call the devil. So we have to create a pact with the devil who in this case, may include the largest uh, uh, companies in the world that actually need, are forced by the governments to buy carbon credits. So suddenly we're talking about the carbon credit market because that's one of the ways we can actually begin to create the, the incubators with these toolboxes. So we have to talk to Shell, BP, RBS, uh, RBA, and so on, because they are forced to buy these credits. And they could actually be sources um, of, the, of the streams of finance towards the incubators through the United Nations, who regulates its uh, under the auspices of the Kyoto Protocol. So where do we do this? So this is the first, uh, the first bit. Uh, where do we do this is, uh, is where we come onto the stage, I call that, onto the stage. We have to find oh, across the world a series of very large scale sites or settings or stages that can function as transnational incubators, where we can test the toolbox we have, where we can prove we can actually meet the targets of governments of 40%, 60%, 80% reduction of carbon emissions. So these stages uh, have to be found in places where cities come together. So cities themselves are not so important. Usually it's configurations of cities that, that matter. Um, and we have to find natural sites, natural incubators uh, that give us a rather symbolic importance to these, uh, to these stages. In these stages, we have to act like curators. We have to bring the right kind of uh, organizations, institutions together. Uh, we have, as architects, I think we have to roll to, 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 to steer, to create a choreography uh, for these actors and agents to come together and to create the right kind of projects uh, that create, I think, a new kind of urbanity and a new form of, uh, of city planning.